Cheers, everybody. This is uh, we're just doing an interview with Bob. Bob's on smoke break, and as you can see, he's not very clean. <laughs> anyway, uh, Bob's been doing collectors all day, so we just thought we'd come out and uh, do a nice little. Oh uh, yes, two days. Do a little uh, fall color interview with Bob. So anyway, we uh, took in some. Uh, a few oysters out of the bags today. Bob's gonna hold them. This was seed that was put in the bags. It's a couple years old. There's a nice one, Bob. Yeah. They got a, as you can see, they got a real nice shape to them. That's the way they're. There's the money right there. So that's what we wanna. That's what we wanna be growing oysters like that. So they grew pretty good over the summer. That oyster grew. From there to there over the summer. You can see the ring. Anyway, there are a few barnacles on them. Not, so not bad. Not bad. So uh, uh me and Bob made a deal there when I make my first million dollars with the, all this oyster seed. <laughs> well maybe not the first million, but a couple hundred grand perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> we I gotta build Bob a little uh, little house here. For him and whoever so uh yeah whether i've got the wife or the girlfriend at the time i'm not sure <laughs> maybe both yeah. so uh to put up two places yeah yeah <laughs> yeah we just have to build one in the woods over there so anyway we're just uh bob taking the breather so we just thought we'd come out here and do show off some of the product show off some of the product that's it what Robbie showed you in the bag, in the pans, will be that size in two years. Yes, hopefully. Maybe three, some of us. Mm. But, uh, you know. Some of, this stuff, some of the stock this year is almost that size. Anybody that's thinking to get into oyster farm, <laughs> farming, well, just take a look at Bob. <laughs> take a look at my oil pants and lime them. you got to lime them, right? So, it's not... Uh, it's not easy work, but labor intensive at this point. It's labor intensive, not you know, it's not like they're you'll have a couple busy bad days like the, like the last two days have been, but it gets better. There's good days and there's bad days, like anything, right? So anyway, uh, you have to put up with one bad week to make it. Yeah, this is always a bit of a torture doing the seed and rush, rush, rush. So. Yeah, anybody that thinks about getting into the oyster farm, and I know I had a couple of fellows ask me questions, you know, it's 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 a lot of work and but hopefully it will pay off. I know the first two years I farmed oysters, I uh it's a lot of trial and error. I know uh, guys have been farming oysters for twenty years and they're still learning. It's like uh maybe like trapping or something. You you're learning something new every day, so Anyway, it's just uh, a lot of trial and error. The first couple of years I grew oysters, uh, I put them on a spot where traditionally it's been always a good spot on the lease and we had a real warm summer and the sea lettuce wiped all them oysters out. It smothered them out and killed them. There was no way I could do anything about it. So I learned from that experience not to put oysters there anymore. So now I spread them into a different area where I don't have problems with sea lettuce. And I will, little deeper water. Deeper water and nice hard seaweed bottom. So yeah, anybody's got any questions out there if you're thinking about getting into oysters or anything and feel free to pick my brain apart. I'll try to help anybody out that I can. It's, you know, it's uh, I I enjoy doing it and hopefully someday I will be able to build a new barn and build Bob his little honeymoon suite over here. <laughs> Anyway, we're just gonna end off with that, everybody. So feel free to ask ask anything if you if you're looking at getting into it or just have questions about anything. Just uh, send me a message. I love I love your comments and I'll try to get back to them. Thanks.